wife beater go free. But DA David Soares is firing right back. Amy Witkowski of Loudonville says her husband beat her severely and choked her in November. Robert Witkowski was let out of jail after 45 days because the case hadn't gone before a grand jury. My, um, my autistic son saw about 90% of it and lives with fears that in nightmares that daddy's going to come and get him. Witkowski says the DA's office did not contact her until the day before her husband got out. But Soar says that's not true. After hearing about the case, Albany County lawmaker Ann Camilla called for the legislature's law committee to investigate. It is incredibly irresponsible for a legislature to conduct a press conference presenting a victim that is still involved in an open case, placing this office in a position where we have to uh, account for our actions um, by divulging information about a victim that is still a necessary witness in our case. Source says the case against Robert Witkowski wasn't ready to go before a grand jury, and he adds that the case is still open. The attorney for the Albany County District Attorney's Office set him free. Tonight, we're going to hear from both sides of this controversial story. Her husband, Robert, go free without prosecution. But DA David Soares says this is still an open case, and he says Robert Witkowski was set free because there wasn't enough evidence to prosecute within 45 days allowed by law. It's a complicated case. Fox 23's Jeff Saperstone sorts it out for us live in Albany. Jeff? Well, hi, Ann. Amy Witkowski came forward criticizing David Soares' actions, but Soares fired back, defending his office. I want him indicted, and I want him to do the next logical thing, either go to trial or plead guilty. Amy Witkowski is talking about her estranged husband, upset that he was released from jail without an indictment. District Attorney David Soar says it's still an ongoing case. It's an open investigation. It's, an op it's a case that is still moving forward. Witkowski says her husband beat her, causing serious injuries to her head, neck, and face in their Loudonville home back on November 2nd. And he wrapped his hands around my throat and he told me that I was going to die tonight and he was going to kill me. Police reports were filed and Robert Witkowski was arrested on felony assault charges, but was released from jail on December 30th because the DA's office says there wasn't enough evidence to indict him within the 45 days required by law. When you have a case where someone is alleging an assault second, there's an issue of serious physical injury and you have to explore that issue of serious physical injury. Soares stresses it's not unusual for this to happen. It is incredibly irresponsible for a legislature to conduct a press conference presenting a victim that is still involved in an open case. Amy Witkowski, who went public today with Republican Albany County legislator Ann Camilla by her side, denies all allegations that this is a political attack on the DA. I voted for David Soares specifically because he was for the victims. I have nothing against David Soares. All I want him to do is really work for me. Now, Soares, of course, is a Democrat. Camilla has called for an investigation by the Albany County Legislators Law Committee. DA David Soares says his office is committed to, uh, to, for, uh, to help victims of crime. He says it's more than any other office in the area. And All right, thank you, Jeff. That's our Jeff. Investigation after allegations, the DA's office let an accused wife beater back on the streets. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Lydia Colbita. And I'm Jim Cambrick. The Albany County DA is being accused of failing to indict a domestic violence suspect in a timely manner. The suspect was released from jail almost two months after his arrest on a felony charge. Kumi Tucker joins us now from the Albany County Courthouse with more. Kumi? The, the suspect's wife says she's been living in fear for her life ever since her husband was released. Amy Witkowski says these photos were taken after her husband repeatedly punched, kicked, and choked her on November 2nd. He threw my, smashed my head against the wall. Next thing I know, I remember wake, um, opening my eyes on the floor, and he was kicking me in the head, telling me to stop faking it. She describes hiding in the bushes until dark, then running miles through backyards to state police Loudonville. 
Police arrested Robert Witkowski. He was released in December because his case was not brought before a grand jury within the required 45-day period. Amy says prosecutors told her that there was no action on the case because they didn't have all the evidence and that they just got the files. What went through your head when you found out he was going to be released? He's going to come back and kill me. Amy spoke to us with Ann Camella by her side. The Republican county legislator is now calling for an investigation by the legislature's law committee. Other prominent Republicans facilitated this interview. The DA is a Democrat. But Camella says this is not about politics. Why are victims feeling victimized by the system? That's the main question. Uh, it seems to me that it's obvious that there was some type of breakdown in the system. So I'd like a simple answer. What happened? Why was there a breakdown? We have reviewed the case here internally. We are investigating this case. Um, there are documents, medical records that we have secured, and we're still reviewing the matter. Albany County DA David Soar says his office did not drop the ball and that there were no problems with paperwork that they have been carefully considering the case, but that it was simply not ready for the grand jury. It is incredibly irresponsible for a legislature to conduct a press conference presenting a victim that is still involved in an open case. Soar spoke of his office's help in securing orders of protection and changing locks, Amy Witkowski said she'd feel safest if her husband were behind bars. Lydia? Kumi Tucker live in all. Victim of domestic violence claims her case was forgotten and her attacker walked out of jail. Now a county legislator is also speaking out against DA David Soares, saying his office is slacking off when it comes to protecting victims. Patricia Thomas has that story. Bought as many locks as we could for the house. My kids actually made signs for their windows that said, Daddy, don't come home. Amy Woodkowski says she lives in absolute fear. The primary blows to my face um, were to my eye sockets, um, multiple concussions, um, bruising. After spending 45 days behind bars for felony assault, her husband Robert was not indicted by a grand jury, so he walked out of jail. Amy says the DA's office admitted to her they had made a mistake and let her case slip through the cracks. We are prosecuting that defendant as we speak. But District Attorney David Soares tells a much different story. There's a lot of information that still needs to be um, sifted through before this case is presented to a grand jury. Source says Witkowski was not forgotten. In fact, their office tried to help protect her. We have also gone to extent to, to great lengths here to, to ensure her security by arranging on three separate occasions to have her locks changed. The DA's office sent somebody to change the locks on her home. I'm missing something here. You're supposed to lock up the person who did these crimes, not lock her in her home. Now, Amy sought the help of Albany County Legislator Ann Comella, who is calling for an outside investigation of how the DA's office is handling this case. Her involvement is drawing criticism from the DA, who says this is an open case, still under investigation, and lawmakers should not be involved. Another important note, source says to stay tuned to new developments in this case, an indictment could still be possible. Live in the newsroom, he is criticizing the district attorney for not indicting him. Good evening, I'm Liz Bishop. And I'm Greg Floyd. DA David Soros is denying the woman's claims that his office has mishandled the case. He wonders if there is a political motivation here. Craig Smith has our story. 48-year-old Robert Witkowski, his wife Amy, says she lives in fear of him despite having orders of protection. A piece of paper is not going to stop somebody from killing you if they want to kill you. Pictures of a beating she says was meant to kill her. She says she escaped and walked blindly without her glasses to the state police barracks about a mile away. The law provided for her husband's release from jail about two months later because 45 days passed with no indictment. I don't understand why he's not. He hasn't been indicted. I mean, I haven't even got a grand jury date to even go before the grand jury. We discuss these cases on the merits and we make decisions. And if a decision isn't made to indict a case within 45 days, then that is part of our process. That is part of a decision 
in which we are weighing everything. Two of the people helping Witkowski get her story out are County Legislator Ann Camella, a Republican, and Brendan Quinn, a political consultant known for his efforts to get Republicans elected. Witkowski says at one point someone from the DA's staff came to her saying the case had fallen through the cracks and that the person responsible had been dealt with. There is no truth to those statements. That case uh, was reviewed by our felony review um, uh, here in the office. There were decisions that were made on that case, and that case is still being prosecuted by this office. The DA says he'll leave it to a jury or a grand jury to decide whether evidence amounts to serious physical injury. He says the case has a unique set of facts and could be returned to town court to be handled as a misdemeanor. In Albany, Craig Smith, CBS 6 News. Finally, a string of days more tip in bars without bail tonight, accused of beating his wife and threatening to kill her, a story we've been following for you. His wife says he should have been in jail long before this, but at least now she can have a good night's sleep. It's that sigh is a sigh of relief. We first met Amy Witkowski two weeks ago when we saw her wounds from an alleged November beating by her husband, Robert Witkowski. He was arrested but never charged and then set free, terrifying his family. Nightmares. The memories come back. And I, I, I feel it's not even just that I can see him coming at me, but I can remember the pain I felt at that time. But it's a pain she won't have to feel for some time, she hopes. Wachowski is in jail without bail, charged with two counts of assault. The reason it took so long, the DA's office says domestic violence cases are touchy and more victim advocates are needed to hurry up the process. In a perfect world, it would cut down dramatically on the amount of time it would take to, uh, to get results. But Amy Wachowski now has the result she wanted for her and her three young sons. Trying to build a new life for just me and my kids. We're moving, um, just taking it one day at a time. As soon as I can afford one, get a divorce. Right now, I can't afford one. Amy told us her sons often ask her what she did to make daddy so mad. She tells them, I didn't do anything. And even if I had, he doesn't have the right to do that. Another behind bars tonight, and this county woman is telling us she is relieved, no longer living in fear. We first heard about Amy Witkowski's case a few weeks ago, when she was angry the DA hadn't filed charges against her husband after he allegedly beat her. Fox 23's Regina Waldrop has our update. This is Amy Witkowski three months ago, battered, bruised, and badly beaten. My husband punched me probably close to 30 or 40 times in the face with both fists. This is Amy Witkowski today, on the mend and at peace knowing that her estranged husband is finally back behind bars and charged with two felonies for allegedly beating her. The night that I found out he was arrested was like the best night's sleep I've gotten in so long. Witkowski's husband Robert was first arrested and jailed in November, but he was released a short time later when the DA's office said there wasn't enough evidence to indict him within the 45 days required by law. On Wednesday, Witkowski learned that her husband had been rearrested and indicted. I was told they had everything they needed to move forward with the grand jury and let the grand jury decide. I was starting to doubt that an indictment was going to happen at all. Witkowski criticized the DA's office when her husband was set free and there was fear he wouldn't be prosecuted. Tonight, a spokesman for the DA told us that cases involving domestic violence are always difficult to prosecute and require extra care. They're all unique and there was nothing unusual about the way this case was handled. As for Witkowski, she says her goal is to now help other women get out of situations like hers. On November 2nd, that person died and I was reborn because I'm going to build a better life for myself and I will help anyone who needs to. That was Regina Waldrop reporting. Amy Witkowski says she is planning on divorcing her husband. Meanwhile, Robert Witkowski is expected back in court in late March. In a story we've been following for a few months, a Loudonville man sentenced today for beating his wife. You may remember her from when she loudly criticized the Albany County DA weeks ago, accusing him of dropping the ball on this case. But as News 10's Dory Marlin reports, everything's changed since then. 
33 year old Amy Witkowski says this is the day she's been waiting for. For a very long time, but I'm glad that it's finally over. <laughs> Although it took some turmoil to get here. Flashback to last November when police arrested Amy's husband, 48 year old Robert Witkowski, for allegedly beating and threatening to kill her. Almost two months after the arrest, Amy still hadn't heard from the DA's office, then finally received a call saying that her husband would be released from jail the next day. Amy fired back at DA David Soares with a county legislator by her side. You're supposed to lock up the person who did these crimes, not lock her in her home. Today, Robert Wachowski received his time, and Amy says she and the DA have made amends. This should not happen to anyone, but unfortunately mistakes happen. And unfortunately, it had to happen to her. Now Amy just hopes that same thing doesn't happen to anyone else. To be honest, the fight was worth it. Because if I didn't do anything, I, I think that he could still be walking around. I'll be still waiting for an indictment. In Albany, Dory Marlin, News 10. Hey, for the Loudonville man who allegedly beat his wife, later prompting her to call out the Albany County District Attorney, Robert Wilkowski will spend two years in prison as part of a plea bargain. Last November, police arrested Wilkowski for beating and threatening to kill his wife, Amy. Almost two months after that arrest, Amy still had not heard from the DA's office, but then finally received a call saying her husband would be released from jail the next day. At that time, Amy fired off comments at DA David Soares, accusing him of forgetting about her case. Today, she says, the office has made amends. This should not happen to anyone, but unfortunately, mistakes happen. To be honest, the fight was worth it. Because if I didn't do anything, I, I think that he could still be walking around. I'll be still waiting for an indictment. So it's going to be reached for comment, but an assistant DA says there were no problems contacting Amy Wachowski during his time spent on the case.